Hi everyone, welcome to the first episode of the Roots Trail series where I bring you on a journey through different heritage trails around Singapore. Well, we are small, but we are really big on trails, in fact 80 and counting. Besides admiring the beautiful architecture of old buildings, national monuments, sampling on the good eats, you can uncover the epic story behind them as well. Scattered all around the island, some of these trails are literally at your doorstep. You can very easily jalan-jalan and experience these trails on yourself. We start with our first episode on the Little in the Trail, where I bring you on an express trip. Now this is Teka Center, where the famous old Teka Market moved to. Check it. Also known as the People's Market in the past, established in 1915, demolished and then moved to Teka Center in 1982. Check out all these beautiful dresses, man. Too bad I can't fit in them. Okay, so let me take you around uh, Teka Market and see who I can find. I'm gonna probably ask an old person over here. Aha, uh -huh, this looks interesting. Some muttons. All right. Hello there, sir. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Good what? afternoon. Good afternoon. To what you is all. your name? My name is Sini Muhammad. Okay. What are you doing here? What's your business here? Yes, I'm doing my mutton business. Mutton business. Yes. Okay. So for how long have you been here? I'm from 10 years old. I'm 54 now. All right. 54. Okay. So Around you've 40 been years. Here 40 years already. Which is the best year for you? Memorable year over here. 1995. All right. Now the business all. That the old people only come to the wet market. <laughs> yeah. Nowadays youngsters all uh, go to <laughs> supermarket, seesaw. Yeah. You know. That's true. We need icon. Look at me. I'm like I'm sweating buckets in the wet market. Not used to this, but this is where you can get the fresh food, right? The real deal is always in the wet market. Yeah. Am I right, Mr. Yeah, Sini? Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you so much. Nice yeah. talking to you. Do I look like a Tauke? I do, right? This house was owned by Tan Ting Nia and it's Little India's only remaining traditional Chinese villa. And this building over here is definitely Insta-worthy. Yay! Right. <laughs> Many people think that Little India is a place dominated by our Indian brethren. But that's not true. It was a melting pot for all races. Abdul Gafu Mosque. It's a beautiful mosque with a mix of Eastern and Western architecture. It was built in 1907. Hold on, that's 110 years ago. All right, and this mosque over here was gazetted as a national monument in 1979. Did you know that the Fuchao Methodist Church can trace its route all the way back to 1897 as a mission for working classes that included barbers, coolies, and rickshaw pullers? And this church is still standing, having survived the bombings from World War II. The Little Indian Trail, of course, has some awesome Indian temples. Did you know that the Sri Virama Kaliaman Temple, I hope I pronounced it right, the temple was built by Indian labourers working in lime kilns. Here is the Singapore's first temple dedicated to the goddess Kali. What's up everybody, welcome to this regular segment of this video called Lim Kopi, where I, Lim Kopi, with a trail expert. Alright, thank you Mr. Producer. Alright, over here I have the hard hitter, Mr. Clement, who helped research the trail of Little India. Okay, Clement, I have a very tough question. As you know, Little India on its own is very famous. So what is it that people actually don't know or what can they learn from this trail? Let's begin here. The original Farrell Park, or the race course, was all the way to Bukitima Road. In other words, twice the depth, all the way to the front where the MRT is. Okay. So not only did they do race horsing here, they did the, there was a rifle range, they right. played the uh, polo. Then we also have Indians gathered here where the Indian National Army gave a talk about you know, how they should be loyal to the, the Indian continent and free India. So it also happened here during the war. This was also a very difficult place because it's low ground. Okay. It used to be a swamp. So up till World War II, when it gets flooded, people actually boat here. They paddle their way all the way to the hospital. Okay, next question. Since it's a central location over here, is there like a visitor center for Singaporeans to you know, go to where they, they know where to start the trail from and stuff like that? The Little India Heritage Center would be an ideal site. All right, last question. You know, we have a lot of religious place over here. Any advice or is it possible for a regular Singaporean to just visit without the intention of praying or worshipping? Certainly, the places here, they, they know their 
in a tourist belt, so they open up the, the places for visitors. All right, thank you so much, Clement. It's been really insightful. Welcome. All right, yeah. and with that, I end the first episode of the Roots Trail right here at Farrer Park. So, please share this video with your friends. It's free. And next, I'll be going to the heart of the city for Jubilee Walk. Thanks for watching. Peace.